kiss the shy. Today I'm gonna read you Zombies Don't Eat Veggies. Curated by Megan Lacera and Jorge Lacera. Mine was a zombie with a deep dark craving. It was dreadful, devious, absolutely despicable. Mo loved to eat vegetables. He grew all kinds of veggies in his hidden garden and then in his secret kitchen he crafted celery, tomatoes and carrots into delicioso meals that he devoured with delight. Most mom and dad did not love vegetables. Not one bit. Veggies were yucky, disgusting, get asko, ugh. They were not allowed at their Romero's dinner table. Ready to chase some humans in the Martha next week, mijo? Zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine like brain cakes, brain stew, and mmm. Brain and bean tortillas. Most parents insisted that their niño only eat zombie food. Finger foods, mi amor? Uh, gracias. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Mo tried to convince his mom and dad to give peace a chance. He sneaked vegetables whenever he could, but most apples were fruitless. G grains! His parents wanted him to accept who he was a zombie in Zombies Don't Eat Veggies. Mo knew he did not like zombie cuisine and he couldn't imagine letting go of spinach or cucumbers or kale forever. If, if zombies were supposed to eat zombie cuisine, Mo started to wonder if maybe he wasn't a zombie after all. Day after day, Mo wondered how his parents understand his love of veggies. His tomatoes were tantalling, his cucumbers crispy, the peppers perfection, and onions, some garlic, a touch of sliandro, and gas. Bacho! Oh yeah, yoi. Mo had an idea. His best one yet. Mo grabbed his book of recipes. His finger flew across the pages until he found it. A recipe for tomato and veggie field soup. He was sure the tomatoes would make it look bloody and gloopy, just like zombie dish. His parents were going to devour it. Mo chopped and diced, blended and pureed, perfect and poured. Finally, the soup was finished. Mo carefully shuffled it over for the house for dinner. Where he found a feast fit for a zombie. Mo, you're just in time. Try some arm pandas, mi amor. Prime cuts, mira. I made spicy mayonnaise. I made something for you to try too. It's called blood bite bisque. Bon appetit gave me five brains. Smells strange, looks delightful. Single brains. This must be delicioso. They dug in. Mo closed his eyes and sucked in his breath. This was it. They suffered the soup. They asked for mers. Mo imagined breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, all vegetables. Raw, cooked, steamed and fried forever and ever. He saw all his dreams coming true until... Most parents did not like the soup. Not one bit. Yours meal. This soup tasted like, like vegetables. Yuck. Most hot sack to his toes. His plan 
was a bust. How many times do we have to tell you that zombies don't eat veggies? Maybe other zombies don't eat vegetables, but I do, Mum and Dad. I'm different. But I'm still me, Mauricio Romero, your niño, your mom. Mom reminded his parents that he liked chasing humans as they ran in marathons. And he promised he always cheers for Dad during championship brain eating competitions. He also loved doing the zombie shuffle under the moonlight with Mom. He was a zombie, a Romero. He just liked to eat vegetables. Most parents loved their son and they finally accepted it that was okay to be different. They even promised Mo they would eat more veggies for him. But only a teeny tiny bit. The Romeros knew that most zombies don't eat veggies, but they were more than zombies. They were a family. The end. This was great! Hope you had a good Halloween, kids. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Please, bye-bye.